Could you threaten me? Do you mind? Maybe, can you turn the lights down, guys, or off? Or yeah, something? definitely. Yeah. Before this night's over, I will kill you. But before I kill you, I will make you suffer pain so unimaginable. You will wiggle. Liam Neeson having some fun there on Jimmy Kimmel the other night. He is back with a new thriller this weekend. Eventually. In nonstop, he plays a federal air marshal on a transatlantic flight, terrorized by a secret killer. But is that killer Neeson's character? Take a look. My daughter was diagnosed with acute leukemia at the age of five. And I spent my days at work instead of being at home looking after her because I was afraid of watching her die. I'm not a good father. I'm not a good man. I'm, I'm not hijacking this plane. I'm trying to save it. Did he convince them? Liam Neeson here this morning. Welcome Thanks, to GMA. You know, this is a different kind of action movie. It's much more about the suspense. Yeah, it's there's def a definite homage to Mr. Hitchcock, George, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. And, and you know, audiences are so acutely intelligent uh, especially the teenagers, they get it. So we, we try to keep one, two steps ahead of them in, in the guessing game of who the bad guy might be. And then you keep it right up it right up until the end, but it, it also gets into the whole idea, and you see it in that scene we just played right there, about what makes someone rise to the moment and actually become a hero. I know, it's, it's uh, the unfathomable question, because we, we don't know how we're gonna respond, do we, in an, an emergency, in a dangerous situation like that. We all like to think we would be heroes, you know, but it's uh, it's always a and, special. You know, and we individual. see these real life situations here yeah. all the time, and invariably, when someone truly is a hero, they deny it. Yeah, and it's usually the least. Uh, you know, if you had a group, you'd pick the fittest or the handsomest. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we're so conditioned by the movies, but it's usually not. You know. No. You can be surprised. Yeah. You know, we got a whole yeah. bunch of questions coming in on Facebook for you, and, and so many around the same theme. Melissa Mahaffey uh, wanted to know, because you've done so much in your career, did you ever see yourself as an action hero? No, never in, never in a month of Sundays. Never, never, never. This is like a, a great bonus. I'm 61 years of age, and I, I did the first Tekken when I was 55, so uh, uh, that became very successful. So I'll say, you're about to I'll do another one. You're going to film another one. We're going to do it. Taken three, yeah, we start uh, in a month's time or so. And you know, another question came in from Jennifer Martin. It, g it gets into what we were seeing up there when you were with Kimmel. And I was surprised, you didn't really know that was coming on Kimmel. She wants to know, is there anything special you do to get into the zone before doing a, z a scene like that? Um, it's just acting, George, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just acting. <laughs> Well, you, you did it on a moment's notice there in, in Kimmel, and you had such a great uh, group of people to work with in nonstop. Julianne Moore oh, was here yesterday. Yes, she's such the a Peter Nyong'o, he may get an Academy Award Yeah, we're going to ask you about her. She's yeah. up on Sunday night. Yeah, she's fa fantastic. Michelle Dockery from Downton Abbey. Great bunch of actors. Yeah, it was terrific. So we know who you're rooting for. Yeah. On Sunday night. yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> Liam Neeson, thanks a lot for coming in. Thanks, George. Nonstop open nationwide tomorrow.